Black Christmas. Yes. yes. Tell me, like, how did you guys prepare for Marty? Your character is very, I would say, you're the athlete of the group. Mm -hmm. um, I would say you're very protective of Riley. Mm -hmm. um, I love your relationship with Nate. How did you prepare for your role? Um, well, we had, like, uh, I think it was, like, two weeks before we started shooting. So, Sophia, we would go to her hotel, mm -hmm. and we would do exercises, sometimes, like, one-on-one -on -one with each other, sometimes as a group, and we would um, do improv right. as mm -hmm. the characters, as the scenarios. Mm -hmm. So, I think that's kind of how. And then just hanging out and having that extra time, right. like, bonds you and just makes filming a Definitely. lot easier. Yeah. You play Jess. I also love you in Star. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Love yeah. your um, role in this film. Um, you were very unproblematic. You were just, like, the quirky <laughs> one of the group. Yeah. Um, are you guys familiar with sororities, or did you have oh. to do some research on sororities? Yeah. Um, I have a lot of friends that are in sororities. Okay, and, and I'm then, in a sorority. Oh, you are? So. Which I'm in a Delta. Delta okay. Sigma Theta. So. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So I got the whole gist of the, you know, sorority play. Um, yeah. But did you all have to, like, study it to tap into it a little bit? I don't no. Know. I mean, I no. think we tried to create um, the bond. dynamic, a bond, and yeah. then also the dynamic of the sorority with what we knew. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I don't think any of us were in a sorority. Yeah. I mean, I think, like, I, and I didn't go to college, mm -hmm. and, but I, I think I have a stigma about sororities. A lot of people do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, so, and so when I was going into it, I was like, oh, we're playing sorority. But we are, the women in the movie are not like that. And I don't think we were, like, mm -hmm. had to step into a different mentality no. to play sorority women. I think you all pretty much were yourselves and your authentic yeah. selves. Um, how important is sisterhood? Um, this mm -hmm. film starts out with the scene um, showing sisterhood with um, the young lady in the snow, and she calls her friend, and she tells her what she got her for Christmas, and she's not able to go back because she ends up, you know, being, take it out. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so from the jump, the film is all about sisterhood. How important was that theme in the film to you all like because I know you guys you said you bonded um, yeah when you were you know preparing for the role yeah how important was that sisterhood feel mm -hmm. to get into your characters yeah. I mean I think sisterhood is incredibly important in camaraderie mm -hmm. um, in any film mm -hmm. um, and I think that we all I think the one thing that was really special about this film when it came to our sisterhood was embracing our individuality yeah. as actors. I love that. Yeah, and as women. Right. And being very, very honest about it. And yeah. unapologetic. I feel like yeah. everybody <laughs> had a uniqueness about them. And yeah, we were all very different. Very, very much so mm -hmm. different, but collectively, <clears throat> you all fit together yeah. in a group. Yeah, um, and respect. Definitely. Yeah. You guys shot in New Zealand. Yeah. How, what, was it really like that cold? Yeah. Like pretty cold. Okay. Yeah. And also, I think what was getting us was we were shooting really in remote places. Right. So <laughs> it was so interesting. I mean, and I I don't know when I would go there in my real life. <laughs> right. So, I mean, it was just pretty stellar. And I I was saying like you could see the Milky Way oh. every night, Seriously. and I I've never seen that. So I mean, it was really special to be there. Uh, before I go, what do you all have planned for Christmas? Are you doing anything special? <gasps> what do you plan? I'm no going home. Christmas. I'm going yeah. home to yeah. to see my family. That's exciting. Yeah. What yes. are you going to do? I'm going to Florida. I'm from Florida. I'm, I'm going to swim. Down south too. I'm going to Texas. Where? Oh, yeah. oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Where's the bus TV? So, Imogene, tell us all about Riley. I fell in love with Riley. Um, although she went through a traumatic experience and she you know, was pretty much retreated into herself. We see her rise above it, right? Mm -hmm. We see her come into back to her own, if you will. Um, explain how you tapped into those emotions of the character. So Riley was a really interesting part on the page mm -hmm. when you're reading the script because she really does start and is written at the beginning as being so passive. And um, at first it actually frustrated me quite a lot and then with the progression of the story you understand what she's been through and why she is the way she is and who she used to be right and so through talking about it with Sophia it was really really wonderful and cathartic to go on this journey with this character um to see her overcome something and 
through the solidarity of her friendships, um, she could understand that she had the right to fight and get her voice back. Wow. Um, and so it was really, really beautiful to come across a, a role like that um, and to take that story all the way through. And the other characters as well, you see them all change mm -hmm. um, and uh, adjust as the story goes on and come up um, in different ways, show their strengths. Right. Um, so yeah, I just thought it had really great elements in the script. This film zeroes in on what it's like to be a woman in 2019. Mm. How much of yourself would you say you identify with, with your character? Did you completely drop yourself and go into Riley, or did you take pieces of yourself and your experiences to get into your role? I found that there were so many access points with this character. Mm -hmm. Um, and so many emotions and feelings that were totally relevant to me. Um, we've had very different life experiences and what has thrown up, but in the sense of being women in this era, the idea of not taking up too much space right. when you're, the pitch of your voice rises when you talk to men. Um, things which, in a way, because they're so old, we perceive them as being natural, right. that are totally ingrained in the social and cultural framework, and that is across the board with gender and race and class um, and sex. And I do think that in that sense, playing her, I really, really could identify with those parts um, and how things that you in the past considered forgivable or normal, you can uh, revisit and understand that that was not right. What would you say this remake would resonate with? Is this for, I asked Sophia earlier, is this for the fans that watched it in 1974 or even in 2006, or is this for a different viewer because of the messaging, right? Sure. I think it's interesting, isn't it, with marketing with a film, because the idea of choosing who it's for is, um, is very difficult to do mm -hmm. and gauge who will turn up to this kind mm -hmm. of film. Um, it would be great if fans of the 70s version were on board with this one, but um, this isn't catered necessarily to uh, a past um, cultural framework. It's um, talking to the generation now and the generation of women and men coming up to understand the insidious uh, nature and, and harm of misogyny mm -hmm. and the patriarchy and frat culture, fraternity culture right. on campus in America. Um, and I think it's a film 100% for teenage girls. Gosh, I'd be absolutely over the moon if they got to see this. And Sophia was one who told me that a lot of horror audiences are made up of women. Yes. But it's also for men too, because I think we see characters in the film, we see female characters who are complicit with the patriarchy. We also see men like Caleb's character who are very much rebelling against it. Right. So I think that um, there's a lot of nuance in the film too. Um, I definitely think the film would do well on college campuses because of the rape culture aspect in it and just showing that. Also, what are your plans for Christmas? Are you doing anything special? My plans for Christmas, I'm going back to London. Oh. Before I go back to London, I'm seeing Little Women in New York, which I'm really excited about. Um, but then I'm going back to London and I'm going to see my family. That's, I'm going to hang out there. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Oh, Where yeah. is the buzz you said we used to be a my, my. Where is the buzz? Ooh.